Hey all, Binks here with another awesome off-meta Marvel Snap deck. Iron Lad is here and Iron Lad is awesome and I decided to reintroduce this really cool deck called Zonggoing with the new card Iron Lad. What Zonggoing tries to do is play 10 ongoing cards to really just try and fill the board with as many ongoing cards as possible. We have some really cool off-meta choices here in things like the Punisher as well as Namor that you can try and utilize and push to the fullest. Uh, we have a really nice tech card in Professor X to stop Galactus players and lock down a lane and then boost it up with things like our Spectrum. Uh, the Wong is here to supercharge that Spectrum and be able to double that big burst to all our ongoing cards. And we also have Luke Cage and Hazmat. So Hazmat is just a second option for us to lower our opponent's cards instead of boosting our own. And then the Luke Cage is going to help with that as well as stopping the negative ongoing effects of things like Lizard and Typhoid Mary. Uh, this deck is awesome. There's lots of cool little decision making choices that you have to make throughout the game. You know, which two drop do I play first? Uh, how do I utilize these four drops as much as possible? Really, really fun stuff. Uh, a couple things to note. If you want to do be as like competitive as possible, you can throw in Mr. Fantastic and send the Punisher. I really enjoyed it, trying to run this card that hasn't really seen much play since beta. Uh, and if you don't have Iron Lad yet, do not worry. You can absolutely still run this card by swapping in Omega Red, uh, Mr. Fantastic, as I said, or even Ghost, if you have Ghost available. Ghost is really good with this hazmat idea. Uh, this deck is awesome. Like I said, incredibly dynamic. People aren't going to really expect it because it's not seen on the ladders too much. So if you're looking to climb with something that's fun and different, this is the deck for you. I hope you enjoy these highlights that show just how cool this deck can be. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below. You can subscribe for daily Marvel Snap content and catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore place. Enjoy. You peace. Uh, we already have our two negatives, so we can get Namor, Luke Cage, Hazmat, Huang, Spectrum. We might hold and just do Punisher this turn. I think holding and doing Punisher. We have our two, like, on reveal effects, so, like, not super, super beneficial for us to just play out now. Groot is a better 3-6. Yeah, you'd probably earn Groot. I'm pretty sure you got, like, no 2-6s, right? Got you hooked on Omega Strikers? Yo, love it. Okay, we have our Luke Cage. Now we can play our Typhoid Mary. Probably play it here. Go here. Maybe play the Professor X, right? Let's just see. Next turn we might might be Luke Cage Iron Lad, depending on what we draw. Um, um, um. One's a bit running out of space. Iron Lad last turn obviously would have been quite good if we had like Ant Man Iron Lad, but here we are. Uh, we could get Wong right now with our Iron Lad, would be really clutch. Try that. Getting Wong, getting Hazmat is also really strong. I also think about just. We have priority if they're trying to like beast this maybe really nice to lock it down hmm c6 you can run sean spider-man or professor x as long as you have sherry that's ridiculous that's a ridiculous idea yeah dead bucky could be a 2-6 i guess you could run like yeah carnage bucky something carnage bucky hood Do this. What do we get? What's in the box? Get a Wong. Very nice. A Wong is very, very good. Yeah, the Professor X middle would have went pretty hard. In retrospect. But uh, I think it's hard to just beat a geeky little Spectrum right here. Middle goes to 18, right? Left goes to six. They could beat us, but it, they, they have to put in a lot of work. Lizard with blue marbles, a two six. That's not how that works, DJ. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah, C6 was good before the onslaught buff, True, very true. 
It wasn't good. It was kind of bad, but full a fully buffed Angela. That's pretty hard to make happen, man. It's pretty damn hard. You'd probably run like Hood, Carnage, Bucky. Maybe another like Iceman or something. You'd probably run like Iceman as well and then try and get a, a lane set up where you can like either Iceman, Bucky, and then Carnage it or something. But it's just like it's so much work, man. You think Living Tribunal will be good? I don't know. I, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be a very interesting and, and unique card. I don't know if it'll be good though. I wonder if they're gonna get 20 here. Nah, there's no extra card they can add. Even if this is a demon, they're not gonna beat 20. Very nice. Look at that, 1-0. Why would you play the hood? Playing the hood to get an extra buff on the hit monkey? Cause you're throw I guess that's fine, because you're just throwing right lane. So you're you're getting an extra buff on the hit monkey by playing the hood. Kind of an interesting idea for zero cost. Might as well, right? Well, look at that. Well, first game against Q. Uh, nailed it against a pretty solid deck in this uh, East. I don't know if Nebula fits in this deck, right? I think Nebula is incorrect. Even though it's one of the strongest one drops, it just it gets it's terrible with Falcon. I don't think I don't think you run Nebula in this deck. Interesting. I don't know if you saw, but uh, Kawa Tech was doing this. Uh, Kawa was doing this really funny thing, trying to have Iron Lad hit an Umbaku and then using Lockjaw to send Iron Lad back into the deck and then having an Iron Lad Umbaku come out and win him a game. He tried it for like several hours the other day and he he got one where he won doing that, but he didn't he didn't um he didn't it wasn't like a game winning play. Quite funny. Making a Daredevil Agatha deck? I think he challenged Ordinary Harry to do it, but I don't know if he ended up doing it. Yo, oh, my name is Jeff. Will I be playing DC Dual Force? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get sponsored for it. I'm having my agency reach out to their marketing team. See if I can get sponsored. Uh, I probably will whether or not I get sponsored, though. Uh, this doesn't give us a draw if we do it, so... Oh, we don't want to do that. Let's go Lizard Middle. Let's fight, fight them on Hala. They're probably playing the, the OP stature deck. They're not, they have Coulson. It's probably not in that deck, huh? Can't imagine they ever beat Typhoid Mary. Go for High Evolutionary or Iron Lad. I have 8k token. Uh, High Evolutionary, probably. Iron Lad might be better, but High Evolutionary, if you just enjoy a lot of different decks in the game, like me, High Evolutionary opens up. High Evolutionary is eight cards in one, so. I, I call it seven cards in one because the other card is just kind of a nothing card, but in many ways, it's... You get four six. Four six Cable? Four six White Queen? Four, four six White Queen chat? Broken? Absolutely fucking broken, mate. I was thinking about just Professor Xing, but I think the Namor... We don't have too many safe Professor X spots, right? Like, this is kind of iffy. They could also Professor X here. What they Professor X right? Can I do anything if they just Professor X me right? Like, the Namor is the closest I can get. 11. Professor X gives them 12. I don't have either Hazmat or the Spectrum, but I have a 50-50 to get one of them next game. They might also just not even do it. Do it. Roar, by the way. Long. Not really anything that helps us all that much. You can go triple amp and lane as a joke. Uh, 
In all three lanes profit? What do you think? Triple Ant-Man lane? World first triple Ant-Man lane chat? Lad could do it? Yeah, I guess Lad's a 50-50, but they didn't Professor X right, so it doesn't matter. But maybe the Iron Lad is better than our play. I like just Luke Cage left, Iron Man middle. It's probably better. But we, I want to win with three Inmans. It's pretty funny. Look at all look at all my anti boys. Look at my look at my army of ants. Imagine losing to an entire army of ants ants chat. And you know what we have here? We have a half baked casserole chat. Everyone loves a half baked casserole. Everyone loves us a half baked casserole. Look at that. Change scene, thank you, Stinger. Yeah, of course, next turtle. I think most people don't really care, and I try and make it fun. Most things like that that are weird, I try and make funny. Like, whenever I'm going to do, if I do any more sponsor streams in the future, anyone who stuck around for the Hero Wars stream, I felt like I made that quite funny and interesting because I was just joking and getting way too pogged up over that game. I try and make stuff like that at least uh, entertaining for, for as many people as I can. Uh, we'll get the Typhoid Mary down, I think. I think the Typhoid Mary looks pretty pretty appealing. Uh, we can maybe even Professor X on New York. Often a place people won't play. Oh, chat! Look at this Professor X value. Not only do I get to Professor X the, the right lane, but because of my opponent's super scroll, I also get to Professor X the left lane. Double Professor X, all working together. Dual purpose Professor X. Dude, what if they had Mystique left? Oh man. Get absolutely dumpstered. Get <laughs> destroyed, dude. Get absolutely destroyed. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh baby. <laughs> The dual purpose Professor X all the way across the sky. Thing, thing, and t <laughs> did you win or did your viewers win? Yeah, great question. <laughs> Who won? You or viewers? Binks hates his viewers? It's rude. I'm gonna have a 13 power Namor that can drop on Morag. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Hmm. Chat, we're ahead. We have the chance to Iron Ladder Professor X and completely eviscerate our opponent. We must, right? I feel like we must. The Iron Ladder Professor X just dumpsters everything that they're going to try and do. Like, everything that they're going to try and do gets eviscerated by this Iron Ladder Professor X. In your face! <laughs> Plays though. You got plays, chat. But can their plays beat a 13 power Namor? Ooh, this is a bit scary. Just timed all? Oh, it's not gonna be enough. You can't get through my power of Professor X. This game had it all, man. 13 power Namor, Psycho, Iron Lad, Professor X. Oh man, dude, you don't get games like that all all the time. G freaking G's, dude. Holy. <laughs> what deck do you think would be good to run for the last stretch of the 90s? Uh, I don't know. Any any decent deck. I'm sure, if you just look at the tier list, you can find something at the top. I run a di different deck every day, so I'm not the best person to ask for things like that. 
ammo. Go here. Best draw. I don't know. We probably just go like Punisher left. Like Luke Cage left, Wong middle. Hope that we can get over the top and then we, we slam down the, the Wong final turn. Oh, we have to go Cage here now. Go Luke Cage, then we can go Wong Hazmat. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy, right? We slam down the Luke Cage next turn, we can Wong Hazmat middle. And then Spectrum everything. What'd you get? That could have gone really poorly, but it did not. I appreciate you for that. Uh, that Shanna is not going to do very well for you because we're going to do a quadruple hazmat this turn, uh, which seems pretty bad unless you are also running Luke Cage, but we will see. Junk, 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 junk. Oh no, chat, they added plus two power to each of their cards. Chat, they added plus two power to all their cards. Pog, pog, pog. What a game, dude. Yeah, you should you should have saw me snapping and be like, "Wow, that's very scary." Instead, they said, "Now oh, we're probably gonna win." <laughs> they went for the psychotic one and three. Like, even if they hit that one and three, they just lose, right? <laughs> that was a crazy one and three to go for. I mean, like, Nuxley, yeah, mad Nuxley opponents for going for that. What a crazy choice. I've, I don't think you could fit a... Uh, dude, it'd be, like, hard to fit a billion dollars in this room. I guess you could. Because you could fit a million dollars in, like, a decently sized briefcase. How much would one billion one dollar bills weigh? It would weigh 10 tons if you got it in hundreds, so it would be uh, a thousand tons. It would be two million pounds. Wait, that can't be right. A thousand tons? One billion one dollar bills would be 10 tons. That makes sense. If you wanted in quarters, it would be 22,000 22, tons. I feel like people just don't understand how much a billion dollars is. All right, we're in a lot of trouble here. We're in much, mucho trouble. I don't know why they're iron harding their Gamma Lab card, but I kind of respect it. Ah ha 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 ha. I think we go Psycho Professor X left. The classic, the Binks classic. I have already tried to make this play and it did not go very well though. There's people out there with more money than entire countries, that's true. And they're basically like gods in many ways. Hmm. Opponent's confident. I wonder if they're just playing Sean middle, and then we do this. Typhoid Mary would be a bit of a disaster, but we just never hit it. We hit the Punisher instead. I don't know why they would play Sean middle, actually. That would be kind of silly. Punisher value.
Nice try, bub. Spectrum, I think, would have just won that, right? Because they, they got five points. I think just a Spectrum would have won. Uh, negative zone, right off the bat. I'll snap. Great, great for me with Luke Cage in hand. I have all my best cards. I have, like, a bunch of my best cards, right? Joke. Ever. A little Jeff. Look at the little Jeff. Ah, you can't enchant just both of my Luke Cages. I was scared that I was the only thing I was really scared of was gonna be uh, Luke Cage, but he cannot. He cannot. Uh, he cannot both of them. And you know we're Professor Xing, by the way, right? You already know we're Professor Xing. You haven't played since Moda came out? Needed a break? Love the new Iron Land? Am I crazy or did they actually kind of buff Zabu in a way? Uh, well, I mean, any good 4-drop that comes out buffs Zabu, right? Are you saying from its... Th no, when Zabu was a 3-2... When Zabu was a 3-2... Wait, are you, since Modok came out? I thought that... Like, after the fact. Not a good play. Not a good play at all. Not a good play at all, my friend. I uh, I cannot I cannot explain I can express to you how not good of a play that was. I just locked down left and spectrum right. One less power to drop him, but being a two drop seems nice. Oh yeah, Jeff. Right. That that is indeed a card. Wait, maybe I lose? I think I'm f still fine though. I'm adding twelve. I'm adding seventeen left. Seventeen middle. Stop pulling my Typhoon Mary around, it's very rude of you. That's a casserole, baby! Oh, an A cube casserole! Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. A, a delicious and nutritious A cube casserole. Oh. Love to see it. I completely forgot about Jeff, by the way. Imagine playing four four uh, giant cards left to, to get beaten by a single Professor X. Yeah, we swap Mary's. Mary swap. Make sure to subscribe. Watch that one too.